You know, in general, like, morale is actually pretty good in AEW. You know, it's not, like, great. I mean, there's people that they wish they would be used more or, sure. or this or that, or they're upset about decisions that are going to be made and that sort of thing. But, you know, there's, there's uh, you know, there's a few... You know, I don't want to call them rotten apples, but that is the old saying, you know, a few rotten apples spoil the bunch. Isn't that the old saying? And sure. it gets people thinking that things are horrible there, and they're not. And and really, that can be said for both companies right now. Well, sure, but WWE doesn't let anyone say anything. That's the difference. Or they can just drop every mention of WWE from their social media and move on. They're going to wrestle for AEW for four more years, which would be 2027, and then they're going to retire. You know, now I can't say anything about Dax because people are going to like pick it apart. Like I'm, I'm, I've got some problem with the guy you or whatever. You got an agenda. I cannot believe Man Scout was on my television. I saw him in a multi-man match at uh, one of the New York Mania shows. As a Man Scout show. versus Hurricane, X Pac, and Jushin Liger. Wow. Oh yeah. Still one of the best trio teams <laughs> I ever saw. He was going to chop off Daddy Magic's nipples. Which caused Daddy Magic... He was going to cut off his nipples. That's what he was going to do. Yeah. He was going to take a pair of scissors and (laughs) chop his fucking nipples off. We got it, right? Yeah, not not (laughs) chop. Not chop, but yes, chop, chop, chop. That's like something where you just go to the doctor, he gets two pieces of pepperoni, and he just puts you back together like that. Right? It's not Claudio we're talking about. What's happening? It's so windy. And it's a cold, bitter wind. Sounds a lot like this show. You don't have to bury yourself like that, Craig. It's all right. Granny, what's going on? (laughs) I just said. Or is that hot air? I can't tell. What? Why don't you start reading, Vinny? (laughs) Because you won't shut up. When the thing goes off the rails, help. Questions for all, Granny writes. We'll see how that goes. What's your shirt say? I'm not lucky? I'm not lucky. I'm blessed. (laughs) Oh. Okay. Go ahead, Minnie. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. I don't want to interrupt you again. Well, I just saw her shirt. You told him to go ahead, then you interrupted him. <laughs> I didn't do that. <laughs> I had nothing to do with that one. If you started your own country, what would be a wacky law that you would have? I wouldn't let any bad people on. You're out, Brian. Craig deserves a raise. When will he get a raise? It's liked by four people, including Craig Prober. Oh, yeah. What a shocker. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any thoughts on AI, artificial intelligence? Way over my head. All right. Yeah, Sean's Emmy nominated. Did you know that? Look at how red he is right now. I have two Emmy nominations, believe it or not. Wow. Emmy for what? I work in TV news, and I have created some great television. <laughs> you did a story on being humble. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we've ever been nominated for an Emmy. No. That's disappointing. What is one word you think other people would describe you as? Senile. Wow. <laughs> Me too. How many Wendy's burgers could each person on the B, V, C, and G show eat? If I went to like Dick's Drive-In and got their little hamburgers, I could, I could do eight. Eight? <laughs> wow. Vinny, I think one of these days on the show, we should get eight Dick's burgers, and we'll have an eating competition here on the show. That's a bad idea. If I fail, I'll eat a bunch of yummy hamburgers. This is yeah. a no lose situation. Yeah, well, I mean, you'd lose because I'd eat more. But I'd be eat what I wanted to be happy. Yeah. I don't care if you eat more. All right, Granny, let's do the wrestling report. I don't want to. Too bad. The miss attacks Rollins on his way in. Toe breaker in corner. Toe breaker? <laughs> Whatever. Rollins rolls up the miss. What a fucking hypocrite this Jim Cornette is. Uh-oh. I never saw so many fucking flips in a match as I saw in this fucking match here. And who's out there as a manager? Jim fucking Cornette. He goes, the entertainer walked in. I couldn't believe it. He was so big. As I'm about to sneeze here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're waiting. We got four fucking people that can talk right now, so I'm trying not to sneeze. I'm, waiting to sneeze. I'm watching you holding your I didn't nose. want to interrupt you. All right, so this guy is behind the counter. The Undertaker came in here. He was so big. And he ordered a six-foot wedge. And I put that wedge on the counter, and I turned back around, and he's gone. And Oof. I thought, a shoplifter. It was so bizarre start to finish. This is how they're getting us excited for The Undertaker's return. Well, they're letting us know he's not dead. Well, He's alive and stealing sandwiches <laughs> in the Bronx. <laughs> Thank you. It opened with a 20-minute talking segment. Every oh. week now, dude. Ah, oh, man. MJF didn't come until the very end. 
So you had these other guys. And I thought Darby was fine. I thought Sammy was fine. I thought Jungle Boy was actively bad. Not terrible, but not a good promo. MJF did not grow up watching AEW. He couldn't because it did not exist. Right. Okay? So he grew up watching a lot of, of WWE. And and this this was a WWE segment. You compare this to a Raw segment, and I will disagree with that. This was trying to be a Raw segment, but failing, that makes it an Impact segment. Well, I don't know if I'd go that far. The Elite do a promo. Here's another thing. If you are going to open the show with a long 20-minute talking There was talking a lot promo, of talk, and another one later on the show. Yeah, we do not need multiple talking segments. How many months did they do this Book of Hobbs deal? And he finally broke through and won his big title. And he beat a couple of big names. And it really felt like they were doing something. And then a zip! Rug pulled out from under him. And it's... For Wardlow, a guy who had all the momentum in the world until they gave him the TNT title the first time and has never really recovered since then. And now we're just right back there again. How well, many times are you going to try to make Wardlow a thing? This, this whole angle is is not my jam. I guess we're supposed to believe that he's planning to screw MJ. Thank you. Sammy is an unlikable douchebag yes. who's clearly lying to Max, stealing his money, yes. and his plan is to then take the title as well. But how does MJF character not see that? Or does a, he see that and he's going to screw him next week? And who should run down that aisle to make the save? Britsburg's own Britt Baker! That's right. And she gets in the ring and she pulls Jericho off and she slaps him. I thought this angle was so great. I saw some criticism of this on the internet and it's like, dude, just go do something else with your life. This wrestling thing is not for you. If you could not see how fucking great this angle was, like... I don't know what to tell you, dude. We had a talk show. I thought this was going to be a disaster. I was, like, gritting my teeth and clenching my fists, ready for the cringe. He came off like a talk show host. Likeable, low-key, believable, authentic, entertaining. He was very, very good. And in walks the sharp-dressed man. Virgin. The sharp-dressed virgin. Yes. He's got new shoes. Can someone please make a song about the sharp-dressed virgin? Every girl crazy about it. Sharp-dressed virgin. I want our own version of it. Mm -hmm. Our own version of it. He's successful. He's dressing better. He's looking better. He's moving up in the world. Everything's coming up virgin. Get out of here. And in walks the virgin, Kiana. And Fallon points out, well, look who's here. I bet he's coming to apologize. I shouted. I shook both fists in the sky like Mecha Mummy. You think he is going to apologize to you? Me! You? And then rudely asked these two to leave their shitty ass bar. <laughs> and before I could even go on a rant about how she's doing the favor by kicking him out of this dump, the version actually says, Oh no, we gotta leave. Oh, bye bye. And he walks off. This is the best thing I saw in NXT all year. This is unbelievable. Great stuff. Great stuff. <laughs> 